Hey everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Micah, welcome to my hobby channel, Floating in Dreams, where I like to talk about all things fashion and makeup. And today I have a fashion related video for you. I was gonna film this in a slightly different setup, but unfortunately my back is a little sore from, I don't know what exactly, uh, so I can't really do too much. So I thought I would just chill out, sit on my couch and talk you through that way, because today is going to be a slightly different fashion video. Namely, my fashion hacks and like tips and tricks that I like to use with my wardrobe to A, make sure the clothes fit well and stay looking nice and also like, like general upkeep kind of things. Um, but also, especially since we're now in the summer season, there are a couple of hacks that I like to use to make sure that you know, nothing rubs together, that nothing is becoming unflattering on me throughout the day. So I definitely wanted to share some tips and tricks with you. So that's what this video is going to be all about. So let's just get to it. So my number one tip that I wanted to share with you is against chafing of your legs. So anyone who doesn't really have a thigh gap will understand me when I say in summer, when you're wearing shorts, dresses, skirts, it can get a little toasty down below and then your legs start to rub together and it can become quite painful. Now, I am someone who, like, I, I'm not a huge fan of like wearing really long shorts. In my case, the shorts have to be so long that it prevents me from wearing other clothes on top. So that's why I'm like, I need something that's quick and easy to use that I could top up. And what I have found is to use deodorant and not any type of deodorant. Don't just go in with your spray because it won't work. Um, but what I like to use, and this is quite a new one actually, so it still looks okay, so I don't mind showing you this, but it's these ones that have like a bar of soap. Uh, these are usually also really good at antiperspiration um, rather than like just your roll on and sprays and stuff. So I like to use these kind of things because also my pits get a little sweaty <laughs> and that's why I like to use this first as like an antiperspirant anyways on my armpits and in the summertime I also rub this on my thighs to prevent any sort of rubbing and what it will do is because it stops the sweat from coming uh, it means you won't get as uncomfortable as you would if you just go bare skin. Um, I do recommend that you first clean your skin so take a washcloth or something else just to make sure there is no residue there, there is no sweat there already, because else these products don't work as well. So it does take a bit of brain space to figure out how to make it work. But when you do, I have found that this is the cheapest version of making sure that nothing becomes too painful. So that's my number one tip here, use deodorant against chafing. Another tip I'd like to give you is to figure out what works for you in terms of things you can layer underneath your clothing. So I have a special drawer in my drawer set that I have in my bedroom, um, in my bedroom that you sometimes, I think you can see it quite well in my other fashion videos. Uh, but one of those drawers is dedicated purely to things to layer underneath clothing. And I'm going to share a couple of my picks with you. Um, so tip number two is to figure out layers to wear underneath it. And my first one is a tube top like this. So a bandeau tube, tube top is my favorite way of making sure that if, for instance, something is a little bit too low cut, I can just layer something like this underneath it and it makes sure that nothing becomes too indecent um, with like, the reason why I like this like cropped style is because it means I don't have to tuck it anywhere. It can't roll up funnily, you know, it's not gonna show up that much. For dresses, if they are a little bit sheer and I don't want them to be too see-through, I actually just recently got myself an update, but I like to just buy one of these basic black cotton dresses from H&M in like the smallest size that will fit me, as in I'm not gonna wear this out, nobody's going to see it, so I like to size down in these just to make sure they're nice and tight fitting. Uh, and then I just wear sheer dresses over this uh, just to make sure I have one layer going down. Again, so that nothing can like roll up or do anything like that. So layers for underneath clothing to make sure if it's too sheer or if it's too low cut uh, that you can actually get away with it, I think are really helpful tools. And by the way, H&M is like my go-to place for these things. Another tip I wanted to share with you is 
In terms of like things you can layer underneath clothing, um, if I don't want to wear like a tube top like the bandeau I just showed you, I like to wear like little vest tops as well. And just recently I have invested in some of these workout tops from H&M. Uh, these are actually in their workout section, not in their underwear section, and they are made of a sturdier material and they're cropped. So what I have found, they also did these in like a beige, which are like my perfect nude. So these are also great tops to layer underneath like a sheer blouse or again, against anything that is too deep cut. Uh, but this does have sh like straps. And then because it is cropped, again, you don't have to struggle tucking this into your pants, making it roll up weirdly. And because it has a sturdier fabric and because it has like a very nice thick ribbed band. It stays put really well and I feel it kind of singes me in a little bit. And what this also does is that it sort of makes your back, like in the back sometimes your bra can like show some lines and stuff. This helps with that as well. So if you want to make sure that it looks a bit more smooth, then this I would also recommend. I will link anything down below if I can still find it. Um, and another, well, this is also an H&M thing, but this is more generic. Um, I, if I go for shorts, I just like to buy workout shorts from H&M. And the reason why I'm showing you this is that I don't wear these in the summertime. I like to wear these over tights. So whenever I wear tights, I always layer a, a pair of very thin workout shorts over them because it makes my tights stay put. So they make sure that your crotch doesn't fall down even after you've gone to the bathroom. You can still stay nice and secure and it works really well. I also wear these in the summertime. If I wanna have an extra layer, I tend to just wear like double underwear whenever I wear a skirt in the summertime. So the reason why I like to go for workout gear rather than like cotton things that you can buy usually from like a basics department is because this is all made of dry touch material. So if you get really hot and sweaty, I feel that this regulates heat a lot better. Uh, and if you do get sweaty, it doesn't stay wet for a long time because it dries down really quickly. So that's another hack. Um, is to look into like workout sections of especially H&M because it's affordable and they do some really good things. So those are just some things there. Now another thing that I wanted to recommend in terms of like clothing that you can layer underneath what you're wearing is shapewear. And I have actually been asked in the past what kind of shapewear I use. And the question, uh, the answer to that question is I don't use shapewear a lot. The reason why is because I'm petite and shapewear I feel needs to fit you just right for it to have the full effect. So very often when I would buy shapewear, it wouldn't shape where the packaging said it would shape because very often like things that were supposed to be around your waist, it would be too high up or too low down on me. So I feel that shape, shapewear, it's just really important to look at the fit and to make sure that it fits a, your body type, and two, uh, your height, because very often it just won't work. But what I have found out is that H&M does some shapewear. Now this is their firm shapewear. I've also tried their light shapewear, but that just doesn't stay up on me. It rolls down and it doesn't do anything. Uh, but their firm, this is just a pair of shorts that I have in the nude. I also have these in black. They also do this in uh, like uh, actual like briefs if that's more your vibe um, but I like the shorts a lot and these work on me very similarly like those workout shorts but this is something that I would wear more so like right now in the summertime because I feel this layers a lot better and because this band is quite thick uh, as in like you get a good couple of inches here it doesn't roll down on me either so that's why I would want to give a shout out to H&M's firm shapewear uh, because this has been a great find for me this year and it's pretty much the reason why I wanted to make this video so I could share this with you but yeah uh, I do wish that it would go down a little further like the shaping bit um, because then it would have covered my entire stomach and it doesn't do that it's definitely more of like a waist thing uh, but H&M do some really good shapewear I have found and these just look really flattering now, please bear in mind that shapewear <laughs> isn't going to, sh it's not going to change your body shape. Yeah. So if you do what buy shapewear, be aware, you'll still look like you, 
I only use shapewear because A, it either stays put much better than regular underwear does, um, and it just gives me an extra secure layer, making certain items skim better over my body. That's the only reason why I wear shapewear. It's not gonna make you look two sizes slimmer. It really isn't. Don't fall for those kind of claims because it's not gonna happen. So those were the first five tips all roll into one. So making sure that, you know, uh, some tips against chafing and like things you can layer underneath clothing to make sure things stay put or that, you know, it's not too sheer or it looks nicer. Uh, however, I think you can also do some other things to your clothing in order to make sure you can get more wear out of them. So I am someone with a larger chest, meaning that a lot of the times when I wear button down anything that is fitted to my body, it won't fit my breasts uh, and everything starts to gape. So what I have found, this is a dress that had that issue for me. It's from Urban Outfitters. It's got a really nice button down placket. And what I have actually done is that I've sewn a little snap button to like right in between the two buttons that would otherwise gape. Uh, and I have found that snap buttons are a lifesaver. I have now attached these to many of my jumpsuits, dresses, and also some of my like button ups. Um, I tend to wear button ups that are a bit more oversized because I like that style a bit more But with dresses I want them to be more fitted and jumpsuits as well So that's where most of them go. But yeah, I just buy them for from a cheap Like store. I don't go into a specialist store. I just found some cheap ones and Sew them onto my dresses and my jumpsuits and it just means that you're a little bit more secure So if you struggle with gaping uh, then definitely look into attaching snap buttons to your items what you can also do is to use Velcro um, because you don't want to, like you can pin it with a safety pin as well in the meantime. But what I find is that every time you wear it, you would create a new like hole in the fabric. Is that what you want? Plus you might be able to see like the actual like safety pin sitting here if you're not careful. So that's why I just like to sew a snap button on and that works really well for me. So that's tip number six. I'm not sure what these kids are doing. Um, and that brings me to tip number seven, having basic sewing skills. I see so many people on YouTube, like I'm not a minimalist at all in terms of like how many clothing I have. And I know that a lot of people are going to look at that and go like, oh girl, that's not sustainable at all. But here's the thing, I make sure that I can make my items go a very long way, even if it's fast fashion. If you have basic sewing skills and you know how to repair a hemline and you know how to repair a hole and you know how to sew back on like a button back on or if you know how to do like really minor like repairs on clothing I feel you can just make your clothing last so much longer for instance I have this really pretty burgundy knit that I got from H&M last winter and after just a few wears there was a hole somewhere in the knit and I have done this in the past where I have just taken a bit of needle and thread and just sewn it back together myself. And after a while, like after, once you've done that, you really can't see it, it was even uh, repaired. Um, so even if you do tend to buy lesser quality items, then just make sure that you're prepared to repair them if need be. So of course, I mean, I've, I've bought items in the past that I've tried to repair and they just didn't look right. Um, but I think that that way you can really easily get so much more use out of your clothing. And especially if it's an item that I feel very attached to, I will actually go out of my way to make sure I have the right color thread and just get the wear out of it that way. And that's, that's a way in which I've been really able to uh, get things done. Uh, since about a year right now, I also own a sewing machine so that I can actually hem clothing if I'd like to. Uh, my mom taught me that when I was a teenager. My mom used to make a lot of clothing herself. So she's got all the skills. Um, so I, I can ask her things if I need to, um, but I now have my own sewing machine. And that, for instance, made me um, repair one of my summer shorts that just the entire hem became like came undone last year as I was wearing it on a super hot day. 
just like one thread and it was just like blah, 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 and the hem just came came down uh, and I was able to repair that myself over the winter time so um, I, I just like to sometimes like lump things together and then I just do all of the repairs I need to do whether it's attaching snap buttons to things or sewing a button back on or whatever it is that I can do I will always first assess whether the item can still be repaired and then I just make it work that way. Uh, and another tip I want to give you, if in, in case you're not much of a hemmer and you don't have a sewing machine, I have discovered this. And it's called hemming tape in English. Um, I believe there's also like a brand name that actually sells this. I just found it at Hema over here. In Dutch it's called Zoomband, because in Dutch Zoom is hem. Um, and it's just like a strip that you can stick onto your clothing and then if you use a hot iron you can just press it on and that way uh, between like I think wet cloths I'm not sure what the instructions are anymore uh, and that was uh, how I actually hemmed a jumpsuit that I bought from Mango last year but the fabric was really really thin and I was afraid that if I were to hem it with my sewing machine that and my sewing skills on my sewing machine are just not stellar uh, that I would perhaps rip the fabric. It was also a multicolored um, uh, jumpsuit, so I wasn't entirely sure what thread to go for. And I found that this just works really well. Uh, so I was just able to fold the fabric, put this strip on both sides of the fabric, and now I've got a jumpsuit that suits me really well and that fits really well and I've been able to make it work that way. So in case you're not much of a sewer um, or you don't have a sewing machine because doing a hem by hand takes a long time and it's just not as sturdy, then these strips I would highly recommend. That's another like this year discovery. And then tip number nine that I wanted to share with you is just about your general upkeep. So I would like to uh, give you a couple of tips as well that I just like to do, not only in terms of like actual sewing repairs, but just a couple of items that I use to make sure that my clothing stays nice for as long as it can. Um, so first of all, a lint brush. You have lint rollers with sticky tape, uh, but that's just not really sustainable. So I actually invested in this. And it's one where one side you brush it and the other one you can smooth it out. Uh, there's a bit of an instruction to this, but this has been lovely with some of my wool coats. I actually have a wool coat from Zara and with a lint brush, uh, like a lint roller, I just couldn't get the fluff of one of my scarf off of that, off of that um, coat at all. But this one actually did work. So highly recommend investing in a lint brush. These are a little bit more expensive but they are much more sustainable. And if you have one, you can just use it for the rest of your life. Another item that I could recommend is a debobbler. I keep this in its box. Uh, so if your clothing starts to pill, um, you can also just use your husband's, boyfriend's, maybe your own uh, electric shaver. You can use that. You can also just use uh, like an actual, like. Um, uh, what are they called? Like razor, like the actual razor blade, you can use that as well. Um, but I just have this guy right here. And I actually had a coat from Primark that I wore for one winter and it started to look really, really gross um, because of how much pilling it had. And this took care of it and now I can wear that coat just fine. Uh, you can use this on knits as well. Just be really careful if you have cashmere um, that you do use the right settings to make sure you don't shave off everything. Um, but you can this way you can just make your items look a lot more nicer. And especially with certain knitwear, it's really helpful to have this as well. So I tend to use this on like wool coats and knits mostly, maybe a blazer, uh, depending on what they're made of. Um, but yeah, this works really well to make it look much nicer. And then this is my own little hack that I found just the other day. I bought a couple of things from Zara that I tried on and I was wearing makeup and some of it was white and I got some makeup on the collar and I actually had to return it. And I was like, oh no, what do I do? So I was like, would this work? I'd never tried this before, but since the stain only happened just now and I knew it was mine, uh, I just put some micellar water on a uh, pad and I rubbed it onto the makeup stain and, it, and I removed it just fine. So makeup erasers for uh, if you get anything like makeup-y on a white, blouse. Uh, I think it works quite well. 
Um, was there anything else in here? No. So those are some of my upkeep uh, sort of tips. Another one I think that you can really, that makes a huge difference, a difference is uh, the way you wash your clothing as well. Um, I tend to use gentle cycles only and I always hang all of my clothes to dry as much as I can from hangers, especially dresses and blouses, because they can get a little bit wrinkly if you don't dry them very well. And I find that especially if you have like cotton or linen blouses, if you don't hang them properly as they are drying, they're going to get a lot more creased. Yeah, that's another reason why I would rec recommend that if you buy or if you wash your clothing, make sure that your washing mach machine is running a full load as much as possible. And then my last tip that I wanted to share with you uh, after you're like talking about repairing and taking care of clothing, I think that taking care of clothing also goes into how you store them. Uh, I swear by these Velcro hangers that I get from Primark, uh, to hang most of my wardrobe. The only things I fold are trousers, jeans, and sweaters. Everything else I hang up. Uh, and of course, like lingerie, bikinis, those kind of things I don't hang up either. I have a dresser in my bedroom where I keep sort of like underwear and sportswear and those kind of things. Um, but yeah, dresses tend to just like hang up like this. Uh, and if I feel it just makes everything look a lot nicer for a lot longer and it just works really well. So I tend to hang as much as I can. Um, and if you fold things, make sure you fold things properly. In one of my videos, a lot of you were leaving me comments about my folding skills. I was, told, I was taught how to fold clothing by my mom and she's quite particular when it comes to folding clothing, like how you store it and what it should look like and making sure it's an even size. Um, she's got massive, like even better, like folding skills than I do. Um, but just make, there's plenty of videos on YouTube on how to fold clothing. I tend to use a uh, quite a KonMari style of folding, especially for trousers, because I like to fit them in like this so I can see all of my trousers very easily. Um, and with sweaters, I do stack them. Um, but yeah, if you store clothing properly, and you put things away and you don't create too much of a floor drobe, then you can make it work. In terms of floor drobe, I have a mirror in my bedroom that is from Ikea. And in the back of the mirror, there are actually hooks that allow you to hang clothing, whether it's your dressing gown, but also a hanger with your clothing for the next day. So the more you scrunch fabric and the more you store it, like fold it up, the more it's gonna show wear and tear as well. So that's why I'm like, if you learn how to fold or try to have as much hanging space as you can, that's what I definitely invested in when I re redid my wardrobe, then I feel it can work quite well. So yeah, those are my fashion hacks, my fashion tips, whatever you wanna call it. I hope it was helpful. It's definitely a little bit different, so I'm not sure how this video is gonna do. Uh, but yeah, these are some of the things that I do on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis in order to make sure I get the most wear out of all of my clothing to make sure I keep them in a good condition and that they look good on me. So I hope this video was helpful. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more by me. I make three new videos a week, so I hope to like to see you. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye everyone, have a great day.